Hey guys, Linda here. Welcome back to Adora. Coming back at you with another video. Finally with another video today. I know I'm supposed to be posting on Monday. <laughs> well, since we're talking about that, I'm going to switch that up because I cannot get two videos out. Uh, I've been trying, but I it, it's not working for me. So I'm just going to post one video a week and I'm going to post that on a Wednesday. And if I have any book hauls, I'll do that on Friday. If I have any book hauls, I'll post those on Friday. But if I don't have any book hauls, I'll just be doing one uh post a week and that'll be on Wednesday that way at least I know I can get one video up yeah <laughs> and like I said if I have any book hauls I'll do that that'll be book haul Friday and if I uh feel like posting anything else then I'll just post it but I will be I will definitely be getting a video up on Wednesday and I'm coming to you today I'm gonna do an update on my uh murder mystery madness uh books that I've been reading because I've been really enjoying, uh, you know, I mentioned I was going to read Victoria Thompson, uh, what is this, her Gaslight Mystery. I've been really enjoying this. I really enjoy I don't finished it, and I don't went on to the second book. Because I wouldn't plan on reading the second book. I was like, if I really like it, I'll do the second. And I did the second book, and I finished the second book, too. Where is it? Finished this, too. This is Murder on Aster, Murder on Aster Place. And I'm, I'm into this, miss, I'm into this, um, little murder mystery here with uh sarah branch and frank malloy because i went and read some of the other book i was like is this a romantic suspense i wouldn't call it romantic suspense because mostly it's a it's about the murder or whatever is going on uh in the book it's really and frank and sarah are just you know they're trying to solve the the murder mystery or what or the mystery or whatever it is they're just trying to solve it because he's a uh he's a detective they call him uh, Sergeant Detective Frank Malloy. And it's a very, very slow burn. But I'm really enjoying the uh, the whole story, the the murder mystery. Because in this one, you know, in these kind of books, when you get these books, you just suspect everybody. Everybody's a suspect. Because <laughs> I was suspecting everybody. Is this person? Is that person? Everybody is a suspect. And then when it did, when I did find out, because I, I kind of figured it out, and I was like, no, she's not going to go there in this book. Yeah, because, yeah, she went there. So these, read at your own risk, these guys, because she's going there with these uh, murder mysteries. She is going there. I was like, she is not going to go there. <laughs> and she went there. I wish I could tell you know how to have warnings and stuff in books. Uh, but if I tell you, then you, 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 you it'll It'll mess up the whole mystery, so I, I I can't give a warning. But yeah, I was like, she go in there in this book, and I really really enjoyed it. And um, I highly highly recommend if you like romantic suspense, if you like diving deep into a, a, a suspense story, I I would recommend this because uh, Victoria Thompson went there with this book. I enjoyed this so much, I went back and ordered the uh, regular uh, paperback book in this size. The first book in the series. I'm not gonna order. I'm not gonna be ordering all these because it's 26 books in this series. But I did go to the library and I uh, requested all of. Let me see if there's any here. These books right here. I requested all. I got book two, so I requested all the rest of these uh, to put on hold at the library, except for one. I think it was uh, Murder on Washington Square. They didn't have that, so I'll probably go on paperback book. In order that, if it's not on paperback book, then I'll purchase that book. But other than that, I went and got them from the library. I won't be buying this whole series, uh, but I'm really enjoying it. I can't. I w if I had had the third book, I would have read that. So I read the, th the second book, and this is Murder on St. Mark's Place. I really enjoyed this too. I, I love the slow burn between Sarah and um, what is his name, uh, Frank. But his mother called him, he's he's Irish, and his mother called him, oh, I can't think of what, his name is not Frank, but it's, it's better than what his name, what is his name? Oh, man, I can't, I hate I can't remember, I need to write this stuff down. <laughs> I thought of it earlier. Oh, what, what does she call him? But he's going by Frank because it's more, uh, it's more of a, a man name, or more of a masculine name. Oh, I hate I can't think of it. And his his mother is a trip because uh for the end of this book Frank get hurt when they when they finally saw the the situation he get hurt trying to bring the criminal the, the criminal to justice he get hurt and Sarah goes to his house to see him 
because Frank used to be married. Sarah was married too. She's a widow. Her husband uh, got killed. And Frank uh, was married too. And his wife died in childbirth. Uh, that's, him, that's why him and Sarah couldn't get along because uh, Sarah is a midwife. And he finds out she's a midwife. And he said they're a midwife. Uh, you find out in the second book why he don't like midwife. He uh, he said that his wife was killed by a midwife. She, His wife had complications. And uh, the, he said the midwife didn't know what she was doing. And in her, his son ended up, his son, foot ended up getting messed up. Because I think she used some kind of pliers or something to try to get the baby out um and also his son is deaf but frank don't know that his son is deaf until um they get to this book and sarah figure out that his son is deaf because frank and his mother don't know that they just think something is wrong with with the baby but um he's he's just he just can't hear but uh you meet uh Frank's mother in this one, and Sarah meets his mother in this because she goes to Frank's house after he get hurt. She goes to see because he didn't he didn't stay at the hospital. He left the hospital and went home. So uh, Sarah goes over there to see him to make sure he's all right. And that's when she he meets she meets Frank's mother. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> Frank's mother don't is not like it. She be like uh uh uh. uh. If, if you try to set your caps for Frank, it, he has a son. He need to take care of. He ain't got time to be fooling around with no women. <laughs> She turned me out. Oh, his, his, is his name? What is his name? Is it Francis? I think his name is Francis, but he goes by Frank. He, I guess he don't want to use Francis. I think she called him Francis. I can't remember what his mother is calling him, but she, his mother's a trip. She don't like when Sarah come over there. Mm, she not having it. Because <laughs> I think in this one, Murder on St. Mark Play, I think Sarah go over there again and... and uh, <laughs> And and that's when she discovers some she she discovers that the little boy is just deaf he can't hear and yeah him and her uh, Sarah and uh, Frank mother have a little runny in there too cause uh, Sarah think it's funny cause Sarah's like I ain't got I ain't trying to go after Frank cause like I said they're they're just trying to solve murders right now they kind of sort of have a little feeling for each other but it's not anything big cause she she really not trying to go after Frank and. Frank just don't want have want to have anything to do with her. <laughs> he was like, "We saw this, we saw this murder mystery. Yeah, you go your way and I go mine." And this one was on. Um, and this one, the murder mystery is going to be when Sarah goes to this boarding house to deliver a baby, and um, she comes back the next day to see how the mother and baby is doing, and a, a bunch of policemen are there at the house, and she was like, "What is going on?" It uh, turns out that one of the boarders has been murdered. It's a young female that has been murdered. And that's how her and Frank meet because Frank, uh, when she come in and she want to go in, they won't let her in. Um, they tell her she have to go see, you know, the guy in charge and it ends up being Frank. And uh, her and Frank end up, yeah, they, they don't hit it off right away. <laughs> so that's the murder mystery in this one. And in this one, uh, another girl... Uh, Turns out that uh, females, a couple of females, has been beaten and left for dead. So in this one, and I really enjoyed this one too. So I can't wait wait to read the third one in the uh, in this series. The third one is going to be murder on Gramercy murder on Gramercy Park. So when that comes in at the library, I'm going to go get the. Uh, hopefully they all come in together. I hope they don't come in mixed up like book number four because I want to read book number three. I don't want to read them out of order because I want to see the buildup of their relationship. And I think, you know, I had to go find out where they're going. I think, I don't know if I mentioned that I had to go find out where they're going to have a relationship. But so, yeah, they are going to have it. But it might be in book 15 or 16. Like I said, it's a very, very slow, slow burn. Uh, and I don't want to skip because I want to see every, uh, see how their uh, relationship progress throughout the whole series and I think it's either 26 or 27 books I think a new book coming out this year so I'll probably buy that one any books coming out after I started reading is like I'll, I'll purchase I'll actually purchase them but as far as going back and buying these books no I won't go back but from here on however far she go with the book I'll purchase them but I'm not going to go back and buy any of these I did go back only one I'm going to buy I went back and bought this one. I went back and I, I think I always mention, I always go back and buy the first book in the series. <laughs> so I did go buy the first book in the series and I already have the second book. I think I might've got this from Paperback Swap. I can't remember where I got it from, but it's a used copy.
So I just wanted to come on here and let you all know that I'm really, really enjoying uh, the Gaslight Mystery Series by Victoria Thompson. And I mentioned before that Victoria, I've read a, quite a bit, few of Victoria Thompson histo romantic, historical romances. She wrote, she write uh, along, I don't know if she even do it anymore, but I know some of her older books were historical romances. So now she writing a historical I don't want to call it, it's more a uh, murder uh, suspense than it is romantic suspense, but I'm enjoying it. Really, really enjoyed it. I enjoy her writing, so I'm really, really enjoying it. So I give this a four, I give the first book, Murder on Astor Place, four stars, and I give uh, Murder on St. Mark's Place, four stars. Really, really enjoyed it. If you like uh, that, if you like, you don't like a lot of romance in your uh suspense book i ha i would recommend this because it's it's more about the the problem that is going on that they are trying the murder mystery that they're trying to solve so i highly highly recommend gaslight mystery and and, and this is not no little murder mystery what you what you call those book uh co cozy uh the cozies i can't think of what you call them though those cozy romantic mysteries yeah, this is not cold. Yeah, these, these are hard down murder mysteries right here. Because I was like, really? And especially in this one, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then you got a serial killer in this one. Yeah. <laughs> so, highly, highly recommend Gaslight Mystery by uh, Victoria Thompson. Really, really enjoying them so far. And like I said, about 26 or 27 books in this series. I'm going to read every one of them. <laughs> and then, now I am reading... Um, well, I'm getting ready to start reading Laura Griffin, The Murder Mystery. I think this is book four in this series. I think so. Murder, The Texas Murder File Mystery. And I think this is book number, let me find it here. The Murder Files. Yeah, this is book number four in The Murder File Mystery. So I'm getting ready to get started on this because I was going to, after I finished this one, I was going to read this. But this was so good, I went on to the second book. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to start this one. And after I read this, hopefully I can finish this right away. And I only have two more out. I hope I'll be able to finish these two. I only have two more of my, uh, in the, um, in this, in the murder mystery, uh, category that I want to read. I think I only had five books and these two will be the last books that I read. So hopefully, I think I got a week and a couple of days for this month is out. I think so. So I'm going to try to get through this one first. Detied by Laura Griffin. And then I will start on Heels to Protect by Sharon C. Cooper, which is a Harlequin romantic suspense. I've already showed you these books before, but I'll go ahead and show them again. And then I also have Deadly Cover Up by Julie Ann Lindsay. So I hope I get to the, if, if not, if I don't get to finish them by March, I'm going to just go ahead and continue to read these two so I can finish them on out, finish up my, um, what I call this, murder mystery, uh, um, murder mystery month. So I can finish up the murder mystery month on a good, on a good note. <laughs> Hopefully I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. I hope I finish these for the money's out. But like I said, if not, I'll just finish these in April the beginning of April, whenever I finish this. But it shouldn't take me too long to read Laura Griffin because I really, really enjoy her writing. So it shouldn't take me long, maybe two days, and then I'll be finished with this. And then these are just some little, they're not that big. How many pages in here? 200-some pages. Uh, 251 pages in this. And uh, 283 pages in this. So that should take me long once I finish this one. I think I'll finish this in two days how many pages in this one i'll finish this in two days it's just 300 and some pages so i should be finished with this i should finish all of these books before march is out so hopefully so that's all i have for now i'm gonna do another video because uh, i need to post two videos this week uh, i'm gonna do another one and i will have my uh because i got a lot of books came in so i will have my book haul friday uh, the next video I'll post, uh, I'm going to post two videos today. And the next one will be my book haul for Friday. So that's all I have for now. I just wanted to go over my little murder mystery books that I was reading. And letting you know how much I was enjoying the Gaslight Mystery. 
All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a few minutes because I will be posting a little bit another video. So keep reading those romances and I'll see you in a few. Bye bye.